fear will always feel finite and cut off and like you're being attacked or your need to attack or have your way. And love will always feel as though it's like a soothing balm and a remedy that when you start to realize that you're only loving yourself whenever you choose love, no matter how many people you're loving, you're really loving yourself in order to give love. Love's an extension. Can you please go over how not to get pulled into fear? Hmm. The way to not get pulled into fear is to realize that there's only two things to choose from. Makes it very simple, very fundamental. You either have love or fear. So the way to not get pulled into fear is to make love your preference, to make it be the very thing that you live and breathe for. So letting yourself fill up that space, you find that that emptiness, when you empty out and let go of things that are obstacles to love's presence, you start to feel an emptiness that now no longer feels empty. It's full of grace, full of the divine it becomes a lot easier to give up fearful things because they feel lacking and they feel um, just empty and they feel finite. When you start to feel the fullness of love and bringing love to bear, bringing it when other people don't bring it to a situation, choosing love willingly, then that's when you really start to see the dramatic difference between having chosen fear and choosing love. Fear will always feel finite and cut off and like you're being attacked or your need to attack or have your way. And love will always feel as though it's like a soothing balm and a remedy that when you start to realize that you're only loving yourself whenever you choose love, no matter how many people you're loving, you're really loving yourself in order to give love. Love's an extension. And so you have to have it in order to give it. So it puts you square in love in order to be the person who's giving it. So really important how to not get pulled into fear is to make love your priority. I don't know what it is, but I love it. it is very helpful when you're still feeling sucked into fear at times. Let yourself not need to quantify it in order to love it. Just let yourself love it from the get-go. Only love is real and nothing real can be threatened. Herein lies the peace of God. So it's the only sane stance. Choose love, choose love, choose love. And if that's the constant mantra going on inside of you, uh, what would love do? Choose love. How would love react now? Let yourself just be curious enough to choose love to see how it pans out, to see how it works. But I'm talking about unconditional love. So you cannot stop loving and believe that you've loved because that would be you stopping love and moving into fear. So unconditional love means you never give up on love. You continue to love no matter what. You continue to see yourself as love no matter what. And that's the way, the easiest way I know to not get pulled into fear. Realize that everything is love or a call for love. And if you're seeing all fear as a call for love, the only answer is love. So now you have to default to love no matter what. It's the way to wake yourself up, really quickly walk yourself into love's arms. <laughs>